Hi everyone, I'm Mona Zahidi from Infinity Galaxy. In this video, I want to explain viscosity test of vitamin. Viscosity is a property that shows how vitamin easily flows. It's obtained by viscosity test and measured by different types of viscometers. Viscosity test is used to grade vitamin based on its viscosity. But why this property? Because it is temperature sensitive. Therefore, we can predict the behavior of vitamin in high temperatures. Also, it shows the ability of vitamin in coating and sticking the aggregates well together. Choosing a vitamin with suitable viscosity leads to standard construction. Now let's see how the test is performed. In this video, we show how to measure vitamin's dynamic and kinematic viscosity respectively. Number 1. Measurement of dynamic viscosity by a rotary viscometer. Before starting the test, make sure that the rotary viscometer is calibrated. For testing, choose a spindle that produces a resistant torque between 10 and 98% of the instrument's capacity at the selected speed. Preheat the sample chamber and spindle to 60 degrees Celsius for at least 15 minutes. Add the required volume of bitumen into the sample chamber. Note that the measuring portion of the spindle will be completely immersed in the bitumen. Bring the bitumen sample to the test temperature within 30 minutes and allow it to equilibrate to 60 degrees Celsius for a minimum of 10 minutes. Insert the spindle into the field chamber and couple it to the viscometer. Then, start the motor rotation of the viscometer. Set the speed to generate a resisting torque between 10 and 98% of the full-scale capacity of the instrument. Measure either the viscosity or the torque at 1 minute intervals for a total of 3 minutes. Report the average viscosity. In the absence of a direct reading in viscosity units, Multiply the torque reading by the appropriate factor to obtain the viscosity values. Number 2. Measurement of kinematic viscosity of bitumen by a capillary viscometer. Let the paraffin bath heat up to 135 degrees Celsius and maintain the temperature. In this test, we use the BSU tube modified reverse flow viscometer. Put the viscometer in the bath and let it heat up. Fill it gently with the heated bitumen sample up to the marked filling line. Make sure that the air does not enter the sample. Place the filled viscometer in the bath and let the bitumen move until the middle of the smaller bubble. Place the stopper on top of the viscometer. During this step, excess bubbles are removed as well as the sample is warmed up. Remove the stopper and measure the movement time of bitumen to the second bubble with an accuracy of 0.1 second. Note that this time should be more than 60 seconds. By multiplying the measured time in the calibration factor of the viscometer, the value of kinematic viscosity is obtained. If you like this video, share it on your social media. And also visit our website infinitygalaxy.org and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.